Hi, it's Bonner again. This is just a very, very quick lesson. I just want to, uh, I know a lot of people struggle with bar chords and struggle with the F chord and what have you. And uh, I don't like the idea of anybody struggling. So I'm just going to give you a, a quick tip and I'm going to move into a close up so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to make a very, very brief lesson to get you started on making bar chords super easy, instantly. Okay, so bar chords. Here's the main thing. Playing bar chords is a, is a matter of technique, and there's a couple of steps that you want to do to, to get good at this. You can practice the steps, and quickly, easily, you're going to gain mastery of this. So a bar chord is when we're doing this kind of thing. We want every note in our bar chord to sound like a bell. But that means that we're holding down this bar uh, effectively. So what we do is we start off, we don't get into the chords at first. What we're going to do is we're going to start off and just make a nice bar. First, if you haven't watched it yet, watch my crocodile grip video like this. I don't know if you can see it. Let's put it here. There's the chomping crocodile. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the chomping crocodile like this. So the wrist remains bent, the thumb remains low. Okay. A lot of people play with their thumb up over the top. Just go straight to your room. Uh, you want to play like this. This grip is stolen from classical guitar and there's a reason why. Because it's a very effective grip that gives you a lot of leverage without a lot of force. We don't want to have to use a lot of muscle. We want to use technique. Hand on with a crocodile grip. Finger perfectly straight. Fret right under the middle of the meat of the finger. Press it together but not squeezing yet. Roll it backwards so that the side of your finger is pressing down in the sweet spot right behind the fret. Then Squeeze hard, and if it's not exactly, squeeze hard, and then if it's not exactly right, you just adjust it. When you get a bell-like tone from all of those notes, then relax and do it again. What happens is when I'm grabbing a bar chord, I'm doing all of those steps, but I'm going grip, position, roll finger back, press down, position the rest of the chord, squeeze down. And that's all happening in rapid succession. But those are the building blocks that make it happen for you. If you have trouble at first, here's the getting started version. Just use the tip of your finger and hold down the two skinniest strings. Do the same steps. Nice crocodile grip. Fret under the middle of your finger. Press down gently. Roll the finger backwards. Squeeze down. And then play just those two strings. Adjust it till it's nice and clear. When it's nice and clear, try three strings. Do three strings, nice crocodile grip, fret under the middle of your finger, squeeze together gently, roll your finger back, and then squeeze and play. And gradually you can add one more string at a time. So that's the, the fast and furious version of getting great bar chords. I guarantee if you work through this every day for a week, it will transform your bar chords altogether. Okay, so there are the tips on bar chords. I hope you find that helpful. Uh, to please practice it. I'm very interested in your feedback. Please uh, leave me some comments in the comment section if you have any comments or feedback on the uh, lesson. Uh, I hope you're getting some value out of these little lessons. If you are, please subscribe to the channel because your subscription costs you nothing but makes a great deal of difference to me with YouTube. Okay, so uh, have fun. Keep practicing. Return. Come back and visit me again at Bonner Guitar. There'll be lots of new lessons all the time. I'll see you then.